criminal what about, what about, what about? The people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to and Law and Order Legacies, Episode offenders. 2. These are their stories. If you've been paying attention, the last time we played Law and Order... Coming, sweetie. It was one year ago. Mommy's here, Noah. <clears throat> Noah is not a name. Zombie! Kill it. Kill it. I didn't know we were playing the Neil? Walking Dead already. That you? Down here. Ah! I guess that was a reaction. I don't know. Did you see anything when you opened the door? Yeah, Anybody so on the dead. street? A car? No, nothing at all. At first I thought it was some kind of prank, but then I looked down and saw Neil. Neil. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's Neil all before me. For my son's name is Son Noah. Prank. Yeah, well, sounds like he was a real cut up. Get it? Because he was knifed? <coughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you notice, my voice is a little gone on this episode. That that might be okay because then it forces me to talk like this low pitch thing as compared to my usual oh my god you know high pitched nonsense Abby Carmichael and Jack McCoy and then Adam Schiff what okay I didn't know he was in this episode so if you don't What's remember cool Law and Order get it out of here Ray for cool. God's sake What's the matter? Um, Doesn't smell too it's bad actually no, it's one of our highest good. rated videos Julia's right now, at least in viewer guy. count. She's got this Law and Order idea, Legacy Part 1, a bad thing. The Long Sounds Play, like a real nut. I give is it three at 700 it something Julia. views. Both. Rogers just dropped off the report on Neil Jensen. Exsanguination. Oh, oh no. Well, that would explain all the red stuff. Oh, I thought it was strawberries. Anyway. <clears throat> so. I figured, you know, it's Telltale Marathon again, doing May again, because May only comes once a year. You might as well do Telltale games for it. Tell, 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 that. And, um, okay. Ask her about the victim's wounds. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you might want to ask them about the wounds. There's only one choice How many anyway. Cuts are we talking about? This oh, is not a game. <laughs> this is a push button simulator. Victim bled out from a deep laceration to the femoral artery. Do the wounds match the cause of death? No, I don't know, I wasn't listening. But most of them are superficial. Victim bled out from a deep laceration of the femoral artery. Artery. Do the wounds match the cause of death? Yes. Yes. Of course they do. He was stabbed to death. Death by dying? I thought it was this. Oh, cool, I get a star. Good job. Let's put that one on the fridge. Lieutenant Van Buren can help reveal more information about Neil Jensen's murder. Ask her about any of these new topics. Oh boy, new topics. Whoa, two new topics. Yeah, so anyway, if you don't remember this video, uh, game, series, it, uh, uh, it's, uh, I still kind of, I remember how to play, for the most part, but death? if I make a few mistakes for my own Apparently, goofiness reasons, I'm, found him, but it's basically saying I'm not doing it on purpose, it's because I literally don't remember. Uh, what just happened? Oh, her face stopped working for a second, I guess. Well, at least he got to die at home. When did he get wounded? Around. He two. had to crawl there. Slow that is bleeding. not. Stop yeah, making jokes. <sighs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's like I, I get it. You're like a cop, so you're like, oh well, obviously. And so you're trying to like uh, keep your uh, sense of humor up and all that because you don't want to like actually face the fact that someone died. And now it's your turn to find out why. Uh. Oh, shit, I don't remember. At least he. When did when did he get wounded? Around two. 
slow be leader. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, four seventeen AM, but he got he got wounded at two, so it took him at least two hours to bleed out. Yeah. So anyway, um, making jokes about the murder, it's cool, I guess. What do we know about the But this weapon? isn't CSI. Blade, maybe? Right, this is Law and Order. Let's Roger be some serious here. Like a side? My victim was done in by a midget. Oh God, no. Rape. Facebook again? Really? <sighs> Hang on. Let me check it. It might be important. Okay, it was not important. It was just Dylan talking about Anything Age of Empires. Nice to the perp. Okay. No fingerprints. Um, but it appears some of the blood on Jensen's clothes wasn't his own. Oh, Our victim crap. got now him I'm a few a phone good jabs call. before he went down, huh? What does the lab have to say? Results aren't back yet. Any minute now. Hang on. Come on. Give me a good point to stop. All right. That we'll pause right there. Okay. <laughs> oh. What? Right. Yeah. Van Buren. It looks like she was getting uh -huh. a phone call just when I was getting a phone call. Really? Elliptical and they... nucleated. Whoa, uh -huh. boy, science! Uh huh. Elliptical and nucleated. Got it. Well, let us know if you find out anything else. She didn't really put down the phone. That was the lab. It, Dylan. I don't. Elliptical no, I don't care about your jello mold. The red blood cells. Turns out it's not human. It's bird blood. What? what kind of bird? A dead one, I'm guessing. The oh. victim was stabbed with a pelican. I kind of remember this episode actually, because I did. I tried to do a um. A let's play of it. Ugh, hang on, what? What? Oh, okay. Cool. Now he's talking about Jello shots. Hold off a minute, Lenny. I got something here. What? That door is not real. Nanny. How She's are you trying to, to open it? She's waiting to catch a bus, but I don't see it coming yet. Then let's not waste any time. Mind if we ask you a few questions? No. But anyway, um, I did actually play this uh, episode uh, to try and do a Let's Play for you all. And... Where were you Wednesday I think I remember the murder. In bed. But I don't remember what any else? of this stuff. Here? I only work days. I live in Bedford Stuy. Check with my parents if you don't believe me. Check with my acting coach if you don't believe my acting. Um, yes. Yeah, because we can literally go and check her parents. So this is it's an easy from her alibi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just got a star. Cool. Did you know Neil Jensen very well? Neil Jensen? What kind you of mean, name is that? Were we lovers? Uh, that wasn't where I was going. But since you brought the subject up... No, he, he was my employer, that's all. I liked him, though. We had a lot of good talks. He was interested in stuff, you know? Oh, Ideas? stuff. He was Things. really interested when he found out I was a Wiccan. Oh, God. I like to <laughs> ask questions. Does this rule her out as a suspect? Heck no. She's got a fucking weird pagan religion. Obviously, we're all Christian... Uh, dogma believers, so um, Curtis believes her. Did they? I I wasn't listening. Hmm. Oh God, I don't fucking know. We haven't had time to check her alibi yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't fucking know. Uh, Wiccans, yeah. Let's Wiccans. talk about your weird religion. Sacrifice animals, pigeons, chickens? No, no I know. It makes sense. The Wiccan it just seems so convenient. In all its forms. God, people have such ignorant ideas. Nice going. Hey, not every hunch pans out. You found a red herring. It's like a fish, but not really. How did Mr. Or is it a Mrs. Bird? Jensen get along? Did they fight? Married couples fight sometimes, I guess. I don't plan to get married myself. I used to say that too. Yeah, I said it a bunch. Yeah, it never did me any good. You got married like eight times? In front of the nanny. 
Mm-hmm. Try boot. Yes. You always gotta. Why? The nanny's cute. Of course. I wasn't even paying attention, and I know that. Oh boy. Fighting. What did Mr. and Mrs. Jensen fight about when they fought? Ah, the usual. Money. I guess he was better at spending it than making it, and new babies cost a lot. He was pretty pissed when she cut off his allowance. Allowance? How old was he? Twelve? He was thirteen. Hey, don't tell I told you that. Okay. I want the nice. He can go days. see PG thirteen movies. Well, I'm doing really well. And I and I know I said I already played this, but that was a year ago. I, I'd like you to remember that I played this. The last time I played this episode was um, like after I made Law and Order episode one. I was gonna do episode two, and I just never got around to uploading it or editing it or whatever. Oh crap! I wasn't paying attention. I didn't read Here's any of my that. Here's my bus. Gotta run. We got all we need out of her. Come on, let's talk to the widow. Okay. Well, that was cool. But anyway, yeah. So I'm doing pretty well uh, for you know not having played this in a year. If you're not familiar sorry, with the last time we played Law and Order, no, we do not replay scenes. We get what we get. If we fail, we fail. If we have to go through it again, I'm, I'm, I'm considering editing it. I didn't edit it the last time with Bears and Vodka, but I don't know. I'll probably edit it in this time. It's the other way around. Wait and see. You could set your watch by him. Well, let's see. Neil and money. Neil and money. Neil and nanny. Neil and history. Neil and missing personal items. Neil and money. Your husband was a writer. Oh, maybe I've read some of his work. I doubt it. Wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> the, the face! It He's like, God damn it, you, you don't fucking by any bitch. chance subscribe to the Meta Modernist Quarterly. Uh, who so would even need to make a magazine that specific? John Grisham. Or Wasn't that newspaper. difficult for you? I mean, him not bringing in a regular income? We got by. I believed in my husband's work, detective. And thankfully, my income was sufficient to support both of us comfortably. I'm principal at PS84. Your school principal, I think, right? I think that's what it means. I don't was know what that. Has been missing anything is. when you found him? Or maybe she's the principal, or something. You know, I don't. His wallet was on him. Eight dollars and a Mastercard. His Rolex. What? Did Van Buren ever mention a Rolex found on the body? No. Okay. No Rolex on the body. I gave it to him on our ten-year anniversary. It's engraved. He always wore it. Well, this time it was Neil and Nanny. Nanny. Adam Marie Velasquez. Damn, this that's may a be name. An delicate question, but uh, your husband never. Uh... Oh no, 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 no. Neil liked to flirt, but he wasn't a cheater. You're sure? I know he what was at video games, house. though. I'm sure of that. He was a screen. And looker. I installed a nanny cam to make extra sure. God dang. I. I can understand doing that if you have like a real sense of infidelity, but god dang. <laughs> like, I know he's not a cheater, but I installed a camera just to be sure. That's kind of creepy. Install the nanny cam so that in case the nanny st steals stuff, Anything not, you not can tell your, husband. your husband's background. And same thing with wives. I'm not, I'm not calling the double him. standard. I'm Junior saying, you know, if your I wife seems like she's cheating on you with the pool boy or something, don't just automatically install a camera. Maybe just talk to her first. Same thing with your husband. He was falling back into old habits. Just, you know. <laughs> this let's play has turned into relationship advice. Where you was know he where your last husband night? went last night? I have no idea. He left the house around nine, said he'd be back late, and I shouldn't worry. But you did. Oh! Of course, but no more than usual. This was par for the course for Neil. When he's Golf working puns. on a new story, he'll go off on research expeditions. Often at strange hours, sometimes for days at a time. And he never talks about it till he has a rough draft on paper. Doesn't want anyone to influence his thought process. <sighs> Contradict the time of death. No. Because he was out at like fucking two in the morning. Mm. Yeah, I get a gold star. 
allowance. We heard something about you cutting off your husband's allowance. No. I... No. Why would I believe her? The maid just told me otherwise. Marie already stitches. I have to remember her name. <laughs> okay. Good job, detective. <laughs> Who told you that, Adam Marie? We're not at liberty to divulge. We're not at liberty to <laughs> She's divulge. She's alluding to the fact that I took Neil's name off the savings account last week. I didn't enjoy doing it, but... You didn't yes? Oh. When Neil was in research mode, he spent money. Well, recklessly. He'd get so caught up in his work, prudence would go out the window. She came in through the bathroom it, window. New babies are expensive. Oh, I get that now. Oh, that's why in the movie, uh, wow, I've never heard that turn of phrase before. Prudence went out the window. I, oh my god. If you've ever seen the movie Across the Universe, the Beatles Any musical movie, what Mr. the Jensen character Prudence comes on. in through the god bathroom knows. window, which is also like said, a, um, he was very closed -mouthed about a Beatles song, and her name is Prudence because she's from, you know, the song Prudence, Dear Prudence, and it's like, so she came in through the bathroom window, Prudence went out the window. Oh my god. You guys are clever movie makers. I, what am I saying? <laughs> like I said, he was very close to mouth about his research. Do I believe her? Yeah. Damn. I tried. What's that? And noise? therefore, no Our one chickens. can criticize me. Penny, Penny, and Maxine. We have chickens? You've in never New seen York? chickens in New York? No. Oh, sure, but they usually come with biscuits and a side of mashed potatoes. Clever. You're behind the times, officers. Urban farming is the wave of the future. Fosters a connection to the earth. Plus, once you've tasted homegrown eggs, those watery factory produced things just make you gag. How can. I understand it's like, you know, uh, organic and stuff. It's probably better, but, but how can you really say that an egg coming from a chicken that was grown in a factory and an egg coming from a chicken that was grown in your house. Both of which were assumedly fed the same thing. I mean, we're talking all of the correct One practices that the factory were followed through, you know. No mal chicken, malpractice avian. chicken, whatever bird the fuck bird. the word for that is. I know is. what the word means. Uh, it's just so like, very odd. That's what we thought. How could it be different? How could it legitimately be different? Because if you're both feeding the chickens so. the same thing, and let's say that there's like a, there's probably like a universal know, code of how to feed thing. chickens and how to take care of chickens. It's like everyone's probably following the same thing, except if you do it at a mass produced level or you do it at a, like a three chickens in your backyard level, how could the eggs be any different? Yeah, it's still about relationship advice. I don't get it. Uh, about those chickens of yours, what do you mean when you say no, Neil go away, settle the things you No one wants to watch you play chivalry. Well, raccoons got one once, and he cleaned up the mess, but that was ages ago. And I made him get rid of Roger last July. Roger? A cockerel. He started out as Rebecca. See, keeping hens is perfectly legal in New York City, but it's against the law to keep a rooster. Makes sense to me. We raised our brood from chicks, and of course all chicks look alike. They're sexed before they're sold, but the process isn't foolproof. We bought four hens. And one of them turned out to be a rooster. Right. By the time we found out she was a he, I had grown fond of him. I didn't have Couldn't a they just, to get like, rid of him myself. Check the so um, genitalia I or is it, it I mean I, I know nothing about young chickens, don't get me wrong, but Do you know what he did with it? Is it he really it like that hard to just from, look in New Jersey. Cora's cluckers. <laughs> I can give you their number. They Who know names us there. these things. There goes the alarm. I didn't hear anything. What I tell you, right on schedule. <laughs> oh, bless me. Bless your face. Dude, I haven't watched a Buskus in years. <laughs> Does anyone still Writing watch those diary. things? Not I mean, anybody, no, I, I know there's still obviously journal. the legions of what massive kind of fans, but does anyone really watch, business? like, the Let's Did Plays of the famous Cluckers. people anymore? Yeah, she remembers Neil Jensen. I know so that there are a few people out there who do Let's Plays she that have, sure? a, like, a cult Sounds following, sure. and they're, like, fact, followed regularly. I could even argue that I have a very small cult following because of some videos I have on here that are... They have, at least in the views of hundreds and not the most responsible but that's just because I do things that's to be quite goofy. imaginative <laughs> oh god if you actually are sitting here and watching these things by the way bless you bless you and your soul 
what do you your do? Your pagan soul. Sure I, as hell don't take it all the way to Jersey. I dump it in the closest I'm, spot I can I find. I do these because I like, uh, I like, I like right. playing video games, and, and I like so commentating on things take a live while I play them or watch them. To kill it. I'm a, I'm the worst Plains person to take them in the movies because one, instantaneously five, two, I'll be talking about it during the movie and everyone house. hates that because yeah, you're trying to watch out. it and I get that you know I if it's a movie that I really want to be seeing I will shut the fuck up. Farm but. animals in the middle of Brooklyn. <laughs> I've lived in this city my whole life and it never ceases to surprise me. Yeah. Well, we Whoa. We've got kosher that is a weird shaped Jewish face. Lions. I, I'm not Muslims commenting on like any sort of racism. Jobs? I'm saying the model that, for his face Dominican just feels butcher. wrong. He covers all bases. Mind if we ask you a few questions? Like his face doesn't okay, look weird, and he's quick. a minority. His face looks weird. Any minute. And yeah. Um. Okay. ID. This guy ever come in here? That no. guy's face looks weird, Look and he's white. Game. See, I mean, it's Mr. not Ryan, racism. I, I think the models in this game are kind of weird. Some of the faces, so sure like the faces him. that were modeled after real people, I mean like because they're actors. Wasps. His type usually like <laughs> breath and plastic. Oh, okay. But anyway, because we're um, everything was modeled after real people, they look here on the close premises? to their real people. But sure, when you, naturally. for some reason, whoever did the models for people who don't exist, they must not have used any like actual face. Does your client this is, and they just kind of the did slaughter? it for memory, or no, that's did against sketches policy. or whatever. No, a separate space in back. Pass the plastic I don't know. Curtain. Or maybe there's Correct. a real guy out there who looks like this, and he's actually like really weird. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Notice, and I think it's perfect. If you've noticed, I'm sick again, or well, not sick so much as I have allergies because of hay fever. And it's exactly what happened the last time. Uh, the last um, May Marathon. I get hay fever, and then I get all sneezy and snotty. And maybe that was what made it perfect. Maybe that was why everybody really liked those Let's Plays and not my Max Payne. Which, by the way, I don't know if I'll finish or not. I'd like to. Um, I liked Max Payne. That was a fun game to play. And I actually, I had a lot of fun playing it. I don't know if anybody liked watching it, though. Some of the jokes were a little stale, I guess. Uh, some of the jokes in this are probably stale, but this is a long play. You you know what you're getting in for when you sit here. You know I don't have to be funny. I can just talk. I think that's why I like Let's Plays. Back to that topic. I think that's why I like Let's Plays. I like listening to people talk. I like hearing their thought process while they play a game. Okay, what was I doing? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, why do I need to see this thing? Because, yes, if he doesn't want to see... Ah, oh, God, fuck you. I don't know. Why then? Uh, How many employees you got? Six. Three in front, three in back. You look into their backgrounds before you hire them? They're all citizens, detective. You That's sure about not that? not what I meant. Listen, I serve immigrant customers, so I hire immigrant workers. Good workers. Just because a guy wasn't born in this country, does that make him a murder suspect? That sounds like racial profiling Dude, to me. Dude, he's like Hispanic right in front of you. Anything odd about what he said? Yes. Uh, he said that they were all citizens. Aha! Yeah. I was paying attention. I don't believe I said this was a murder investigation. Well, what else would it be? I don't know. I'd like to take a look inside your abattoir, if you don't mind. Out of the question. Avatar. We're investigating a serious crime, Mr. Huang. And I'm running a business. Why I is his name Huang? Here. It would violate health regulations. We won't tell the inspector. Honest. <laughs> the answer working. is no. Not without a warrant. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. If he doesn't want us in... Unless you get a warrant for it, then it would be admissible in court. Yeah. I do know that. That's, that's good legal procedure. If someone says that you're not allowed in somewhere, and uh, the police one moment, have please. no ability to go in unless they have a warrant. Yeah. I know a lot about Check criminal, out the Rolex. Uh, criminal justice because of um, Dylan. Sorry for the interruption. One of my butchers has a problem at home. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Huang, could I ask you where you got that watch? I bought uh, it. This? It's just a knockoff. I got it from a guy on Fifth Avenue. Uh, mind if I take a closer look? Now look here. 
Enough with the suspicious questions. I'm an American citizen and I got my rights. Sounds like, like a no. like to pull the race card a lot or the immigrant card. Oh. I didn't get any of the bonus stars. Oh well. Oh god, my allergies. I don't even have allergy allergies. Like I'm not this allergic to anything sick. normal. It's just and every time springtime comes on. around. He's wearing it's like the Rolex. pollen. I'm allergic the to pollen. Wife told I guess. Us he was missing a but it only lasts for about a off. month or two, and so then it's wearing like wearing a Rolex is now illegal. Well, I guess that he makes sense. He refused to let us it? check out the back room. Isn't that how like the whole Jensen had season blood. works? That room's the best spot <laughs> the pollen the starts to find thing, thing, and then when that's Something done, and babies are made, well, plant babies. Spare me. As it stands right now, there isn't enough evidence to suggest probable cause. Well, see, the weird thing is, I never used to have it as a kid. worse than slaughter going on in that room, or as a younger person. And no arrests unless you've got something to tie this guy to the kid still makes sense. I've only been an adult for. Nina two Haversham, years, three years. Junior partner at McCormick. A legal adult. Wait a minute. Um, Nina Haversham. She was one of the suspects in the preppy jogger case. So well, yeah. Van Buren <laughs> took us off. I know that that's one. normal too. Like yeah, but remember the allergies are fucking weird though. That's February. the thing. All detectives are encouraged to ask about crimes they're not currently investigating. It's all about uh, spreading the widest possible net. Well, the case may be closed for now, but the net's still open. Hey. Well, happy fishing, partner. Hey, you know that meat market sells cow skulls? Now, I know that definitely isn't on your diet. Look what it says in the logs. Three weeks ago, Tuesday, we got a late night complaint about noise coming from the meat market. How late at night? 1.45 a.m. Then, two weeks ago, also on Tuesday, the same noise complaint. Let me guess. Same thing happened last Tuesday. About 15 minutes before Neil Jensen was wounded. What do you think? I'm, I'm I think sorry, we've got but... Our warrant. Okay. See, I can't. I want to make a joke here, but I don't want to spoil right it for then. you. But at least let me watch. Although those I'm of you sorry, at home who are playing, but those of you playing at home might have already guessed what's okay. happening. Okay. Well, we found our bird. Hut. I'm still not sure what else we're looking yeah, for. But anything that'll tell us okay, what's going on after even then, hours too. Yeah, uh, we'll just and say it like this: if if you that. have a thing where you have a noise complaint and it's on clockwork, like it's literally basically the same time every night. On the same day every week. Oh God, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Have your whatever noise complaint happen on a different day. Why do you want to look so suspect? This is just, I, I don't know. I don't know whether to attribute it to like, because I, I feel like people do this. I feel like there are really stupid people out there too, who would do something like that. Oh God, I'm gross. But, you know. Uh, b bloody blanket, possible murder weapon, possible murder weapon. Am I, um, these are the things that I'm looking for. Anyway, I'm sure there are stupid people out there who's done things like this, but it's like, oh god, is this bad I writing? This I can't tell. Weapon? I don't think so. Okay, but I found the possible murder weapon. You have to find the murder weapon. I don't remember how to. Can I? I can lift things up, right? And shit. What the fuck is this down here? This is a bloody blanket thing. Right? That's a hell of a lot of blood. Could have come from a pig or something, I guess. But why would you wrap a pig in a blanket? I mean, a real pig in a real blanket. I'm Let's hungry. Let's take it back to forensics. No, I'm actually hungry though. <clears throat> I might eat after this. I might eat during this. I've done that. You guys can't. You wouldn't know. How would you know? There's some blood there. I don't know what it is, but. No, nope, nothing. Okay. Ah, that's where the guard. Ah, here we go. The other potential murder. This weapon. could do a guy in. Sure, but not our guy. You're not our guy. Am I still looking for the gloves too? Van Buren said it was a short, curved blade. Oh. Okay. Accidents happen, but there. Oh yeah, this thing. Hey, look at this. A short curved blade. What do you want to bet it's a match for the murder weapon? Wonder what it is. What are you Doesn't touching it like without? Anything a butcher would use. Why are you touching it without any? Oh God, Briscoe, what's wrong with you? I mean, I know it's a video game, and so they're probably not going to model extra gloves or whatever. But come on, <laughs> why are they in a crime scene picking up evidence without any gloves on? Or baggies or anything. Where's the 
Where's their investigation, like, forensics team or whatever? Don't, don't guys usually come... Okay, well, this isn't a crime scene, but still. They should have baggies and they should have gloves and shit. I don't know what this is, but it looks... Oh, that didn't help me at all. Oh, but this will. Now we're cooking. Cooking the What's books. That? A ledger. And I got a feeling these ain't sales of ground round in here. They look like bets. <whistles> Looks like NJ owes a bundle to EH. EH. Edward Wang. Wow. Convenient. I got one more thing to get. Uh, it's a mystery thing. Ugh. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, I honestly don't know. Like, if you think I know, I don't. Uh... Oh, check the garbage can. Somebody threw something away. You want to search the garbage? Hey, nothing I like better than digging through a mound of chicken heads and feathers. Ooh. Huh. What'd you find? It's the carcass of a whole rooster. It's a big one, too. Why do you suppose they just throw it away? Maybe it died of diphtheria. Nah, hey. it's all cut up. There you go. Wait, let me see that blade again. I did everything. Dude, put gloves on. I know what this is. It's a gaff. They attach these to the claws of... Hey, Mr. Huang! I think you've got some explaining to do. You got some anyway, explaining to do. Right now. We can talk out there if you'd rather. I'm sure they'll be interested to hear about how you're running a cockfighting. There you go. Ah, All right, they've they've um they've revealed because I, I yeah I, I did remember that I remember the basic think, plot we got I just don't remember this like the, the yeah, details. I say we him for the murder of Neil. Uh, but anyway, so now now oh, you understand man, what I meant. If you're gonna hold an illegal sure, cockfight, why together. have it on Jensen such like pristine Wang. hours? <laughs> Do you hand out flyers? It's like Tuesday night at one forty-five. That's that's uh well or rather Neil, Tuesday morning one forty-five. A.M. No, that's when we hold our cockfights. I didn't kill him. Then like, who did? Ricardo Guzman, I think. Where can we find him? <laughs> he doesn't have a fixed address. Moves around from couch to couch. He's a couch surfer. Take this guy in. Wait, I got his cell number. What luck. I'm glad you know how to follow instructions, Mr. Huang, because we've got a little job for you. Woo! I got two bonuses. I'm a cool cat. Oh, oh yeah. Can't you keep guessing even though you run out of guess? Okay, Wang. You remember what we told you, and this ought to go down really quick remember. and painless. Okay, I've noticed something now, and He's this is only two, know, so I can't say that there's a majority the here. But the last but time we were in the investigation intestine. room, it was that with the Russian guy. Now we tomorrow. have a. I can't really tell by the model. I'm going to yeah. say Chinese. Ricardo? I think Huang's a Chinese. Huang. Yeah, Huang's a hey, Chinese a name, right? And we have a Chinese guy here. I mean, he's American. I don't know if he was American born, but he's got an American accent. And he's obviously an American citizen, but he's still a nationality of a different orientation than ours. <sighs> okay. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Is this game racist? It's is it sexist? I don't know. Let's find out. We'll find, we'll play more. I'll actually play all of the episodes uh, this time for the marathon and not. Okay, oh, Ricardo, it's Huang. What's the matter? You sound funny. When he finds out I'm working, that's by the time you'll be in custody. Oh God! Oh God! I don't know what I'm doing. Say the cops are still here. That's because the cops are still here. That's because the cops are still here. What? You crazy? They uh, don't know I'm calling. I stepped away. Oh, God. Uh, I knew Did that was done. Did find anything? Uh, I not enough to arrest you. Enough to make them suspicious. But not enough to get you in trouble, I think. Good. So what am I supposed to do, man? We got another fight coming Tuesday. No, I can't cancel it. I'm on the hook to Menendez. Five grand, man, and I'm broke. Uh, suggest a new Hold barrel. the fight in a new location. Better not hold the fight at the shop. Too risky. You gotta find a new location. Where, man? I don't know nobody with that kind of space. Tell him you do. 
I do. My cousin Lou runs a body shop in Park Slope. Let me talk to him. See, si, you're a pal, man. Now okay. tell him you'll meet him. Ah. Later. Let's meet oh, up good later God. Once everything's squared away. Hang on. Where? No, don't ring. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Telephones are loud. All right. What should Huang say? Oh. Suggest a neutral location. Oh, cool. I got a star. I did the right Somewhere thing. Somewhere by Pulaski Bridge, 6 p.m. Uh, that street corner. Over by the bodega and the pharmacy. On 21st by Pulaski Bridge. Around 6? See, si, Sounds like a plan. See you there. Okay. You've done good, Mr. Huang. We'll take it from here. Uh, I, anyway, I can't tell if this game is racist or not. Oh, I didn't get the bonus star. <laughs> Lifetime total stars. Lifetime. Uh, now, are these... I, I've noticed that for some reason my save data from the last time I played is gone. I, I wonder... That would probably be Wang, over higher, here. I think, if Sorry. it also... Wang is indisposed at the moment. Ricardo yeah. Guzman, you are under arrest for the murder of Neil Jensen. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Yeah. Mr. Guzman doesn't dispute the cockfighting charges. Uh, we're prepared to plead guilty on that one. Está insultando la República Dominica. Let me. Uh, my client is not a murderer, Mr. McCoy. <laughs> my, my Mr. Jensen died a as a murderer. result of an accident. He's actually and just a performance accident. artist. He attempted to handle an armed bird. He attempted and he lost to handle control. an armed bird. Really? Go away, vendor missile collaboratia. I don't want to see you play Gary's mod. A man gets carved up like a side of beef. People always He's ask, why don't I turn that off? Then dumps him on a you can. And expects I know you can. Away. But I it's like a Dominican thing for me. Consulate. I like to and? look at people's names He's when they pop up on Steam and, and tell them to go away. Well, I want him it's like a shtick. Murder. I'm it hilarious. It really was an accident? Does it matter? Neil Jensen didn't have to die. Guzman had two hours to get help and he callously stood by. Murder two. Depraved indifference. Damn, Nikoi. Nikoi. Damn, Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy is randomly here. My client, as you can see, is not a bit me. The defense must be desperate. They're putting Guzman on the stand. Hmm. Harlan Fitzpatrick is a good defense lawyer. He will try to make Guzman appear sympathetic using a number of rhetorical tricks. Your job is to object when he gets out of line. Okay. Leading. All right, I got to remember these things. Because I don't fucking... I, I did horrible in the court case last time. So let's remember them, shall we? Leading is when the defense attorney puts words in the defendant's mouth. Okay. Right, because it ends with a question like, Am I right or don't you mean? Right. He's basically telling him what to say through rhetorical... Okay. Asked and answered is when a lawyer gets his client to repeat an answer for dramatic effect. Oh, okay, okay. So if he says it's like, did you kill him? No. Did you kill him? No! Right. Mr. Guzman, oh, that's all I need. first okay. meet Neil Jensen? Maybe uh, a year ago, I guess. He looks nice in a suit. Who initiated the relationship? You or him? looks like Fonzie. He did. I didn't want to have no part of him, man. Not at first. What I do, I got to be careful who I let in can bring trouble, you know? Especially a white guy. Mr. Jensen came to you with an offer, is that right? Yeah, he had a bird, and uh, he wanted me to help him raise it and fight it. And at first you said no? That's right. Um... Um... No. What convinced you to take Neil Jensen under your wing, as it were, in spite of your suspicions? He knew cockfighting ain't how they make it out to be, you know? It's a more civilized practice than people realize, you mean. Oh, hey, well, yeah, fuck you. That's fucking leading. Objection, leading. Sustained. Strike that. What sort of Ooh. sentiments did Mr. Jensen express to you? Well, like... Cocking's a real sport. <laughs> it takes dedication. Do they really say cocking? And you know, it can teach you a lot about life if you let it. So you agreed to keep the bird and help him raise it? 
Si, together we raised El Jefe, and together we conditioned him to fight. He was a good bird. El Jefe. Speculation is when a witness is allowed to theorize or imagine a scenario. Okay, I know that. Why don't you tell us, in your own words, what happened on the night of Tuesday, May 5th? May well, 5th? Neil come in Whoa, and like really keyed up. that's tomorrow. Like keyed up. At least jumping uh, all today. Around. Today I is the 4th. May something. the 4th be with you. I don't know when this will upload. It might upload on the 4th. Yeah, I mean, it's only noon right now. Yeah, would you like to object? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Ah. Yes, I would. That's speculation. Objection! Speculation! Sustained. Strike that from the record. Watch yourself, Mr. Guzman. Please confine your description to actual events. Go on. Well, he was excited, you know, because El Jefe was finally going to fight. There were some other birds up first, but he couldn't sit and watch, man. Pacing around, pacing around, till his turn finally came. Okay, I tell him. I'm the handler. I'm experienced at this stuff. Let me do it. Get the bird into the ring. The pit, yeah. It could be dangerous, you know. Especially with the long heel. A long blade attached to the rooster's spur. Right, but Neil wouldn't hear nothing I was saying, man. Being he was a rider, he had to do everything himself. Well, anyway, he's yelling about how he had to be the one to handle El Jefe. I told him don't. I ordered him even, but he really got in my face about it, man. So I had to back down. Then he went for the rooster, like he was going for a football or something. Grabbed it around the neck. You understand, this is a bird who has been conditioned to fight. The bird goes crazy. It... it it attacked Neil Jensen. Naturally, you were horrified. Of course. Um, I don't remember. Naturally, you were horrified. Oh, okay, that's leading. You're leading. Objection. Leading. Sustained. How did you feel? Horrified, naturally. As we approach the part of the testimony where Guzman will describe Neil's wounds, be on the lookout for statements that would require medical training to back that up. No expert knowledge, right? Made a grab for the bird and got it. Putting yourself in considerable danger in the process, I imagine. Leading. Objection. Leading. Counsel is putting words in the witness's mouth. Withdrawn. But by the time I got the rooster under control, the damage was done. I see. So what then? What did you do for him? I wrap a blanket around him to try to stop the bleeding, you know. Did you think to take him to the hospital? Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to do, but he told me not to. He wanted me to take him home. Facebook shut Mr. up. Mr. Jensen asked you to take him home. Mm-hmm. His wounds, I mean, he was cut up pretty bad, but not so bad as all that. He should have pulled through, no problem. That was a weird thing. Well, okay, yes, I would like to object. That's assuming... Objection. No expert knowledge. Considering the outcome, I think we can conclude that Mr. Guzman's assessment of the situation is off. Sustained. Facts only, Mr. Guzman. You swore on the Bible you'd tell the truth, Mr. Guzman. I'm telling the truth. I, I panicked maybe. You would have done the same. But I did what Neil asked me to do. What I thought would save his life. Your witness, Mr. McCoy. Okay. I won by 35. Cool. Doing pretty good, folks. Mr. Guzman. Mr. Guzman. The prosecution is ready to cross-examine. Focus on the inconsistencies in the evidence and his callous disregard for Jensen. Okay. The incident in question occurred on the night of May 5th. That's right. Maybe 145. 145. And you say you acted to save him? Of, of course. course I acted. I, I tried to help him right there. And when I, when I couldn't help him, I took him home. Like he asked me to. Uh, this is consistent with the time of death. No. No, it is not. Because we know. 
that there was a two hour gap. Yeah, justice is blind. But there's a problem here. The 911 call is time stamped 403. Two hours after the incident, Mr. Guzman. Under the circumstances, it's fair to ask. Couldn't your response have been a little more prompt? Prompt. Hijos de puta mentirosos. I don't speak no, sorry, your Mr. Guzman. It's a bean man language. Someone's not telling the truth. No, Are I'm you racist. Suggesting 911 <laughs> got the time wrong? No, I, I use racism for comedy. I use uh, sarcastic racism. So if anybody actually thinks I'm racist, I promise you I'm not. Like I noticed, I was watching one of my um, the Jurassic Park thing, and I said the thing that how they put Spanish in games. Like that's cool. I don't care that you're doing that. I get it. Like it's just it seemed like they were really happy to be putting Spanish in their game. It's not Spanish that I care about. It could have been German. It wouldn't have mattered. I was just like, okay, stay away from his background and stay away from You knew sport. it was dangerous for Neil Jensen to handle Even though I really want to prove you wrong. Sure it was dangerous. When those Although, I don't know. I don't understand fight, why cop fighting is necessarily fight. illegal. Then why didn't you stop him? I, I, tried, I guess it's man, barbers and like against I said, chickens you wouldn't take and no all for that. Answer. I guess that makes sense. That and gambling is illegal. What? I didn't pay attention. Uh, sure it was dangerous. When those birds are ready to fight, they're ready to fight! It's like the Mike Tyson bird. It's got the tattoo on its feathers and everything. Uh, why don't you stop him? I tried, but like you said, he wouldn't take no for an answer. Oh, you knew it was dangerous. I wasn't paying attention. I knew it was dangerous for Neil Jensen to handle his own rooster. <laughs> sure, it was dangerous. When those birds are ready to fight, this is all taking a new sexual tone to me. Then why didn't you stop him? I tried, but like I said, he wouldn't take no for an answer. Mm, yes. Ah, no, fuck. I fucked that one up. Damn, that was minus 20? Holy nuts! Mr. Guzman. You took Mr. Jensen into I'm your sorry that I... Oh, my God. Him into your illegal you get, like, activity. plus five when you do something right, minus 20 when you do something right. wrong. Didn't you worry that he'd give the game away, expose your ring, and force you to shut down operations? Well, sure I was worried, but he promised me he'd keep quiet. And he wouldn't write anything neither, unless I okayed it first. And you trusted him. Yeah, you respected me, man. Did Jensen disobey Guzman at any point? No. God damn it, I don't remember these things. Well, let's get back to those final moments, shall we? Maybe this time we can get the facts straight. You drove Neil Jensen home. Like he asked me to. And you dropped him off at the door. What time was that? Four o'clock? More like two. Did you stay with him till he was safely inside? Mm, no. No, you dumped him there and took off. Why, Mr. Guzman? I heard a baby crying as I was coming up the walk with Neil, and I saw a light turn on, so I knew she was up. I, I was sure she was going to come down and get Neil. Yes? But I didn't want to have to be there and explain it all to her, you know? No, I expect you didn't. No further questions. Damn. The jury decides with the defense. You are still ahead by five. That's good. But gush dang, I didn't know I would lose that many. Let her talk about her husband Neil and the horrible events of May 5th. It's so weird that that's like tomorrow, so, you know. Alright, no respond, no reason to ask tough questions, just to have her recount her experience, generate some sympathy. Try to avoid any mention of Neil's shady nightlife or speculation about his death. Want to take this one, Abby? The people call. Oh, okay, I, I suppose I will. You know, that, thanks. I'm, I'm glad you have faith in me or something. I don't know. Doesn't she? She dies, I believe. I think I ruined that last time too. She dies in the TV show, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, night of the murder. Mrs. Jensen, tell us how you discovered your husband on the night in question. Well. I heard a sort of a thunk coming from it was the a zombie. front door. 
Did it wake you up? Did she not change no. her clothes? No, she did not change clothes since the police Luckily, interviewed her. What a no, dirty uh, my baby mother you are. How could you usual live in a house that where this woman lives? Mr. Testimony. What you can't tell me she doesn't own anything nicer. The fucking criminal was, guy got a suit. It was horrible. I mean... He was covered in blood and he had this look in his eyes like he knew he was dying. I kept saying, who did this to you? Who did this to you? Go but away, Professor Flubman. I can't mouth. read the thing. I think he was saying, I'm sorry. Go away, And there senor. was nobody with him? Nobody. We're playing Fez, even though I kind of want to play that game, too. Now, this is crucial. Mrs. Jensen, what time did you discover your husband? Just before 4 a.m. You're absolutely sure. Yes, I glanced at the clock where my baby cried at five minutes, too. He always wakes up at the same time. Thank you, Mrs. Jensen. Kaboom. Shaboom. Kaboom. So you finally come around, eh, Harlan? If that's the way you want to look at it, Jack. Great. What are you looking for? No jail time. Mr. Guzman pays a fine and does 12 months probation. Come on, he killed a man. Actually, a rooster killed a man. He said, Actually... I by for two hours and let an innocent man bleed to death. Probation? No way. Make your counteroffer. The charge of murder applies if you feel Guzman acted in a premeditated case. Okay. Uh, but the charge of manslaughter applies if you look at the actor. Indirectly plan the outcome. I'm gonna go with manslaughter. Uh, manslaughter. Man one. one. He serves seven to fifteen years plus a twenty-five hundred dollar fine for cockfighting. How about it, Mr. Guzman? Why would we agree to that? We'll see you in court, Jack. Well, fine. It's your funeral. Ricardo Guzman will never win any good citizenship awards. He's a devotee of cockfighting, a sport which many, no doubt, many of you here in the jury consider barbaric and inhumane. But it's important to appreciate that the defendant is the product of another culture. We mustn't let cultural differences blind us to his essential humanity. Consider Mr. Guzman's relationship with the deceased. He Your name is Fitzpatrick, and you're a black mentor. guy? Not for money, but through mutual love I mean, I guess it's... Sport. Yeah, okay. For many months, it just feels weird to see such, like, an Irish him. name. He became I always Mr. picture, Jensen's like... Mentor and his friend. And when the accident yeah, I mean, occurred, Mr. Guzman... See, maybe... Oh, you know what I think react. this game actually is? It's not Perhaps racist. I think it's just trying to be really politically correct. Man home. Which is Perhaps fine, I guess, you know, if that's what you want to do. But remember... Mr. Guzman is an immigrant, an outsider. That is not a good enough reason. Of big institutions. Uh, no. My client has lost a friend, perhaps as the result of his own mistake. And for that, he will suffer for the rest of his life. But does he deserve to go to jail? Good people of the jury, I beg you, let's not compound one error with another. Okay, my turn. Your turn for closing arguments. Sway the jury with the facts and stay away from topics. Okay. The two hour gap. Two hours. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Two hours. Two hours between the time Neil Jensen was stabbed, stabbed repeatedly, and the time the accused saw fit to do something about it. Two hours of agony, of Mr. Jensen bleeding. <laughs> Why do we always see that one girl? All these people are fake. I just noticed that. None of the people sitting in the audience or sitting on the jury, except her, they're all cardboard cutouts. Yeah, uh, I guess I gotta talk about his motives. The accused knew Neil Jensen well enough to understand the limits of their trust. If the victim had survived the attack, there would have been questions. The story would have come out. Guzman's illegal operation. She, see, she's the exposed. only real one. What the fuck? <laughs> New York or uses cardboard cutouts and one real girl. He had a lot to lose. That is all, oh, Professor Flubman. Stop. By doing nothing. That is that is unsafe. This is not this is not legality. Depraved indifference. Oh yeah, yeah. I None of us was in the slaughterhouse with Ricardo Guzman and Neil Jensen. 
None of us knows exactly what was going on through the mind of the accused as he watched his cohort writhe on the floor. We may never know exactly why he stood and waited, and waited. But we aren't being asked to judge Mr. Guzman's motivations. We're being asked to judge his acts, or in this case, his failure to act. Of course. And in this case, I think you'll agree. Inaction speaks louder than words. Clever. I think we won. Has the jury come to a verdict? We have, Your Honor. I think we won. In the charge of murder in the second degree, how do you find? We find the defendant, Ricardo Guzman, not guilty. What? Don't you give us. me that smug. I can't believe they beat us. Next time, we wear the longer knives. How about we grab lunch? You still on that diet? Nope. Ditch the health food and uh, <laughs> Julia. Right on schedule. Was that and supposed to happen? Break. Any preferences? Nope. I'm I don't for remember. Anything. Except chicken. For some reason, that doesn't appeal to me today. Did I lose? That was it? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Well, there you go. Law and Order Episode 2. I finally did it. Stay tuned, and we'll do The Walking Dead. Goodbye, everybody.